Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Before seeing this video, kindly subscribe my channel for getting upcoming videos. Today's topic Boolean instruction in 8051 microcontroller. It's a special instruction for 8051 microcontroller because the previous set of instructions said you consider the whole bit of the register. In data transfer group instruction, you consider source point and destination point. Whatever value present in the source point, the 8 bit content is transferred to the destination point. In arithmetic instruction, you just take it as a 2 register content, just adding the 2 value or subtracting the 2 values. On logical group of instruction, you take the source point and destination point, the whole value is performing the AND function or OR function, XOR functions. But in this type of instruction, you just consider a single bit, not a whole bit. Okay? These are the list of instruction comes under the Boolean expression. Boolean instruction in 8051 microcontroller. The first instruction CLR. CLR represents for clear the bit value. Here this C is not a register, it's a carry bit value. The next one CLR bit. You constrain any one bit from the register or any port. You modify the values. You just clear in the bit value. Next one is set. Third one complement. Fourth one and function performing between the two bits. Fifth one or function. Sixth one move the bit from source point to destination point. Seven, eight, nine, up to eleven. These instructions are branch group instruction. JC, JNC, JB, JNB, JBC. These instructions are also performing in a single bit. Now we will check one by one. The first instruction CL or C. Clearing the carry bit. Before execution, the carry bit value equal to 1. This carry bit value you can get from the flag register. In this 8051 microcontroller also have a flag register. Other name called as PSW, program status curve. Before execution, the carry value equal to 1. After execution of this instruction, just clearing the carry value. After execution, clearing the carry value. Now, carry value equal to 0. That's the first instruction. The second instruction, CL or bit. CL or bit. The previous instruction, you concentrate on a carry bit. But in this instruction, you specify a bit. This instruction you can rewrite like this CL or P3.0. In this instruction you consider the port 3 value. I already told each port have 8 bit values. Here you consider the port 3 0th bit. In this 0th bit whatever value present in previous execution. Now after execution of this instruction just clear in the value. Let us assume the P3.0 value is 1. Before execution, P3.0 value is 1. After execution of the, this instruction, just clearing the bit. After execution, P3.0 equal to 0. Just clearing the bit value. Second instruction, set B carry. In this instruction, you set the carry value. Before execution of this instruction, the carry bit equal to 0. After execution of this instruction, the carry bit set to 1. It goes to 1. The alternate instruction is CPB bit. So one more possibility of set instruction. This instruction you can rewrite set B P3.6. In this instruction you set the bit. Here the specified port number is P3. In this port 3 you only concentrate the 6th bit. Whatever value present in the 6th bit the content only you can set. For example before execution, the port 3 value equal to 1011, 1011. 
it's a before execution run you only concentrate the sixth bit the bit start from lsb 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 in this port 3 you only concentrate the sixth bit value in this sixth bit value before execution this value equal to 0 after execution of this set p this value goes to 1 after execution the port 3 value 1 1 double 1 1 0 double 1 it's a after execution this value is stored in a p3.6 third instruction cpl c cpl represent for complement the carry value taking once complement of carry bit before execution carry value equal to 0 after execution of this instruction just inverting the carry bit value after execution the carry bit equal to 1 just inverting the carry bit value one more instruction in cpl cpl bit in this instruction you can rewrite like this cpl p2.0 here you consider the port to 0 bit whatever value present in 0th bit the content you can take the ones complement before execution port 2 value you assign 111 1101 1, 1, 1. the port value assigned from lsb 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 in this example you take it as the 0th bit whatever value present in the 0th bit this content is goes to invert after execution p2 value 1111 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0 taking once complement here 1 after execution this bit goes to 0 the fourth instruction al c comma bit the previous instruction you just taking the once complement of uh, the specified bit now a and l c comma bit whatever value present in the source point the content is and function with the carry bit this instruction you can rewrite a n l c comma p0.4 this c is a carry bit is carry bit value and function with p0.4 p0 is a port 0 4 is a fourth line first you assign the value the carry value is 0 before execution the p0.4 this value equal to 1 the carry value is 0 p0.4 value equal to 1 just applying the and function here any one of the value is low level the output also low so 1 and 0 the result is 0 this value is goes to carry because the carry is a destination point you just apply the AND function the result is stored in a carry bit one more example for AND function ANL C comma not of bit this symbol is represent for not of bit before execution carry bit equal to 1 this instruction you can rewrite anl c comma acc 3 so acc 3 value equal to 0 before execution, the carry bit value equal to 1. Accumulator. ACC represents for accumulator. In this accumulator, you concentrate on the third bit, not a whole bit. The third bit of accumulator equal to 0. Just applying the AND property between the carry bit and accumulator, third bit. Here, the bit before that, you can use one not symbol. It's a not symbol. First, you take the complement of this accumulator. 0.3 this value equal to 1 you just apply the AND function both the inputs are 1 
carry value equal to 1 and complement of accumulator 3 value equal to 1. So 1 and 1, the result is 1. This contact is transferred to carry. After execution of this instruction, now the carry value equal to 1. Fifth instruction O R L C comma bit. In this instruction, you perform in the R function between the two bits. This instruction you can rewrite O R L C comma P3.4. In this instruction, you concentrate the port 3 fourth bit with carry bit. Just add the two content. You apply in the OR property. Before execution, the carry value equal to 1, P3.4 value equal to 0. Let us consider. After execution of this instruction, here just applying the OR function, C value equal to 1, P3.4, it may tell as it is. Just to apply the OR property 1 plus 0, we can get the result is 1. The next possibility ORL C comma not of bit. This instruction you can rewrite ORL C comma ACC point 2 not of accumulator. Before execution C value equal to 1 ACC point 2 equal to 1. To take the complement of accumulator point 2 the result is 0. Now ACC point 2 this value equal to 0 carry bit equal to 1. Just applying the all property after execution carry value equal to 1 ACC point 2 it may tell as it is. The same value it may tell. This value equal to 0. The next instruction 6 to 1 move C comma bit. Previous instruction, you are applying the logical function. Now, we go for the transfer, data transfer. Data transfer from source point to destination point. This instruction, you can rewrite move carry bit P1.4. Whatever value present in port 1, fourth bit, this content is transferred to the carry bit. Before execution, the carry bit 0, P1.4, this bit value equal to 1. After execution of this instruction, whatever value present in P1.4, this content is transferred to carry. After execution, the carry bit 1, P1.4, this value maintain as it is. The same value maintain. The next one. JC loop. Now we concentrate the branch group instruction. Here also you check the case is jump on carry. This condition is true, it go to the loop. You just write a simple program for this one add AB JC loop. In this program, the first instruction add a comma b, just add the two content. One content get from b register and another content get from a register. After addition, this function it produce any carry. Suppose after addition, the result produce carry jc loop. The next instruction jc loop jump on carry. Condition is true. Once the condition is true, whatever value specified in loop this value is transferred to the program counter then execute the sequence of instructions. Eighth instruction JNC loop. The previous instruction you check the condition jump on carry but now jump on no carry. You write a simple program add a comma b JNC loop. After addition of this instruction, a value plus b value, suppose this result not produce the carry, the carry value equal to 0. In this case, you just check the carry bit, jump on, 
no carry. Here the carry value equal to zero. This condition is true. Once the condition is true, whatever value present in the label name, this content is transferred to program counter. After you fetch the program counter address location, then proceed the instructions. Ninety one. J L, sorry J B, bit, comma, loop. In this instruction, you just check the specified bit value is a one or zero. This instruction you can rewrite J B, P three point four comma, loop. In this instruction, you just check in port three, fourth value. Is one or zero? For example, P three value equal to one zero one 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 zero 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 one two three four. This one is the fourth bit. You just check the fourth bit. This value equal to one. The condition is true. Whatever memory location specified in the loop, this location is transferred to program counter. After execution, you just check. The specified bit value equal to one or zero. Tenth instruction, J and B bit comma loop. In this instruction also, you check the specified bit value. This value equal to zero value or non-zero value. Suppose this bit value equal to zero, the condition is true. You just rewrite the instruction. J B the same instruction, same example. I take this. P three point four comma loop. In this instruction also, you check fourth bit value. Here, the fourth bit value equal to one. The condition is false. It ex execute the next instruction. Eleventh instruction, J B C bit comma loop. In this instruction. Jump on bit clear, bit comma loop. You rewrite the instruction. J B C P three point two comma loop. Before execution, P three value. Let us consider one 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 zero one. Sir, one one triple one zero. So example of four three. Bit ascending from LSB zero one two three four five six seven. You just concentrate in the second bit. You just concentrate this bit before execution. P three value double one double one double one one zero. After execution of this instruction, you just concentrate in the second bit value. This bit you just clear after execution. P three value one one one. One zero one zero. After clearing the specified bit, whatever location here mentioned, that location is transferred to program counter. It's an example of JBC. These are the instructions comes under the Boolean variable manipulation instructions. Next video, we see about the programming instruction in eight zero five one microcontroller. Thank you.